end of the week. Hopefully everyone's doing well. For me personally, right? I really didn't do too much today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but today is a very, very important day for, for the Bourbon Judge. Today is my, my only child, my, my daughter, she turned 13 today. So I officially have a teenager, which is crazy to even say, right? My little baby's getting old, but hey, shout out to my little girl. So at the uh, when I toast for this one, this will be a toast to my little girl upstairs. So cheers to her. But all right, so what are we reviewing today? So we're gonna go ahead and review 1792 Full Proof, right? All right, so 1792 Barstown Kentucky Distillery. I've reviewed, um, and I'll put the link up above for the Sweet Wheat, as well as I think it was like the small batch, maybe even the bottom to bottom as well, right? So I reviewed them before. Traditionally, when you think of like 1792, you think of a couple of things, right? Number one, when you go to most liquor stores, you're gonna find 1792. That's the cool thing. Number two, the price point for majority of their products, right, with the exception of one or two, is pretty much always right at MSRP, anywhere from 30 to $50, right? No more, no less, for the most part. A couple exceptions, a couple one-off ones that are a little bit harder to find, yes. But the majority of the ones that they produce, their small batch, their single barrel, their bottled and bond, you're always gonna find those at MSRP. Even this one right here, which the MSRP on this one is $50. I've always paid 50 bucks for it. Um, I've seen it a couple of dollars more here and there, but not really more than 60, right? That's a good thing, right? You can find it and it's at MSRP, right? Can you believe that? MSRP, I know. It's sad that we actually made me happy when we find something at MSRP. That is bad. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into this bad boy. So again, I won't give a ton of details about 1792. Uh, again, link up above for the uh, link to the previous videos where I reviewed some of the other versions of it, of 1792 products. But this one right here, this one comes in again, $50. For the most part, pretty easy to find. May go to a couple liquor stores, but not too many. Um, from a proof standpoint, so this one for full proof, you'll always find it at 125 proof, right? And you're probably wondering, like I was in many ways, right? Bourbon Judge, what is the difference between full proof versus cast strength? All right, let me break it down super quick. Cast strength, bourbon goes into the barrel, it ages. When it comes out, it could be 130 proof. It could be 135 proof, right? Right when it hits that number, whatever number that is, when, when the lovely distillers decide to take it out, if they you know bottle it at that 135, 132, whatever that number is, that is straight cast strength, right? They're not adding any water. It's going directly from the barrel to the bottles, right? And it may end up 132, 131, and so forth, right? That's cast strength. What Full Proof does for 1792 and some other distilleries, when they market Full Proof, basically they're putting the bourbon into the barrels at 125, which is for the most part standard. Some companies do a different number, but the standard, the industry standard is typically 125. Um, they put it in at 125. However, when the bourbon comes out of the barrel, even if it goes up to 130 or 131, 1792, they're adding a little bit of water to bring it back down and they're always matching it so that it finishes off at 125. What they're trying to do, which is pretty cool, they're just basically just trying to make sure that it goes into 125, they're trying to make sure that it comes out at 125. That's kind of like their little thing, right? It's cool. At the end of the day, it, for the most part, really is like a foolproof, almost cast strength type bourbon, right? It's typically going to pack a nice little punch and you know what you're getting, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this nose real quick and the color. From a color standpoint, nice, lovely, dark brown, right? Very nice. I mean, this is like a true, like dark brown, maybe a little bit of mahogany red in there as well. Kind of all blended together. Very nice. All right, not bad at all. So from a mash bill standpoint, this one comes in at 75% corn, 15% rye, so it's like a high rye, and 10% malted barley, right? But what I like on the nose of this bad boy is Mm. Three things stand out. Number one, hold on. Maple syrup. Number two, almost like a blackberries or blueberries. Mm. And then number three, your traditional like caramel and brown sugar kind of all blended together, right? But those three things really stand out for the most part. Ooh. Came a little hot there. Mmm. All right, not bad, all right, not bad on the nose. Well, as I said earlier, 
Cheers to my baby girl, turned 13. Cheers to her and everyone else out there. Thank you guys and guys for watching the video. Um, I will say at the end, I wanna put up a little something a little special. Uh, just a shout out to folks that recently joined and subscribed to the channel. So a nice little shout out to them. I'll add that at the end. Make sure you guys check that out. But uh, cheers to everyone out there, right? Appreciate you guys and gals. Mm. Okay. So, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I can't give a verdict just yet. I got a little bit of bourbon in this glass. So you know the way I am, right? I got to finish it, right? All right, a little bit more. Hmm. Whoo! Gosh, that has some fire, boy. It's not cold enough today in the Northeast for this. That has a nice little kick, and I mean, whoo, kick to it. Man, all right, that definitely puts some hair on your chest. So, <laughs> the palette on this bad boy, nice, smooth, but with a straight up pow, fire. I mean, that has some fire kick to it, right? Um, this is one where I'll say, Everything from the nose transferred to the palate, right? The maple syrup, the blackberries, blueberries, and then that caramel brown sugar, all that transferred from the nose to the palate. And that is a serious, and I mean straight up serious, serious, <laughs> right? Uh, long finish, right? But that packs a major punch. So straight up, Barbara Judge, am I buying it or am I leaving it on the shelf? Just come on, just give it to me. All right. The verdict is in. This is a buy. Why is it a buy though, right? Why, why, why? The reason why this is a buy because at $50, I'm sipping this all day long, right? Well, not true. I'm sipping this on colder days <laughs> when I'm probably sitting outside on my screen and porch. This packs a nice punch, but for a foolproof, almost castring type bourbon, this is actually solid juice, honestly. And the nice thing about it is that it's easily Findable, right? You can find it for the most part, right? Is it as good as like a Stag Junior? Okay, maybe not. But is it solid, really good, almost cast strength, foolproof type juice? Absolutely, all day long. Folks, as I always say, I appreciate everyone out there watching the channel. Thank you very much. Uh, from me to you, appreciate you guys and gals. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out. Later.